Hello, welcome to my channel. This is a coloring book review for a Dover coloring book, Orchids of the World, and this is the illustrator down here. As with most Dover coloring books, the dimensions remain the same, 8.5 by 11 inches. And inside the front and back flaps, there are usually um, little thumbnails of, of the pictures inside the book and the detail of, of what they're supposed to look like out in the wild, blah, blah, blah. And you can color them the same. You can color them differently. It, it doesn't really matter. It's all about creativity with these books. So um, these are just little keys to kind of show you what they're supposed to look like in the wild. So don't feel like you have to color like it is showing. These are staple bound books. You can tell I've used this one quite a bit, at least opened it. I've only colored one picture in it, but it took me a while. Um, the picture that you'll see is an orchid that is uh, pink in color, and I use Crayola uh, color pencils. At the time, I did not have Prismacolor pencils, so um, it's just kind of what I had available. And at the bottom of each page, you'll notice a little blurb, a little paragraph or so about the flowers, where they're found, the colors, uh, the names, the Latin names, etc., things like that. When they bloom, that kind of stuff. It's interesting. Interesting little information down there. Paper quality is regular printer paper, copy paper. Um, it's it's of higher caliber than some of the books from like Amazon, Create Space, those kind of books. It's better than that quality. And they this kind of book will be fine for anything, any kind of medium except for. Um, watercolor and alcohol-based markers. Those will go through the pages really badly. And as always, please remember to put a blotter page below the page that you're working on so the ink doesn't go onto the side of the page from this page as you're working. And you'll see here, once I get to it, how Crayola lays down on this paper. It, it actually does really well. Um, so even if you don't have the the more expensive um, colored pencils, it, it really does a fantastic job laying down on the page. And I will zoom in a little bit here. As you can see, there's plenty of brightness. There's plenty of blending. It did a great job um, just laying down. There's not really... Um, you can't really see the white through it, and I wasn't really pressing all that hard. I was pressing hard enough to get an even lay of color, but not really hard. So um, they did a good job. So any kind of gel pens, colored pencils, crayons, water-based markers will bleed through a little bit. Um, so if you're going to do water-based markers, I would use an acrylic block. Um, put your watercolor marker on there and then use a paintbrush to, to brush it on the page itself. And in the back you'll have a glossary of different parts of flowers, parts of the orchids, and um, kind of gives you a rundown on that. There's the back. So thank you guys for watching. This again is Orchids of the World Coloring Book by Dover Coloring Books. Thank you for watching and happy coloring.